Hello my painting friends, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take foam board from the dollar store or the large foam insulation boards from Home Depot and Lowe's and create these really cool wood looking trees that you can put indoors or outdoors. Super fun project and if you've done my wood look before on furniture, this is a great way to use all the tools and supplies you already have or to practice your wood look skills if you're trying to get different colors and stuff. So I started out with these foam boards from Walmart. You can also find them at the dollar store. I cut a triangle with um, the rectangle shape that was there. In the middle, I cut the triangle and then I went and used the sides, the remaining sides, and those were each triangles as well. I'm securing it with a toothpick and, or you could use some, uh, some of those skewers, like wooden skewers. That's what I recommend actually for the larger foam. If you guys remember, I had a video where I tried to make a backdrop with one of these foam boards. I was trying to make like a cement looking backdrop for my furniture business. Anyway, it didn't work out, um, at least the way I wanted it to. And so I had this foam around and I'm like, what am I going to do with it? Well, Christmas is rolling around the corner and I thought these would look so cute outside or inside, whatever you choose to do with them. Um, and they're so large that you can really see them from the road and they make a big statement. And when I'm done, I can just pop these things off and they'll lay flat for storage for next year if I decide to use them again. So as far as that goes, like as far as Christmas storage goes, you want something that isn't going to be huge and take up a ton of space. Right from the beginning of this project, I realized that my razor blade that I was using to cut was not sharp enough or long enough to really get nice smooth edges. So if you guys have a recommendation for like a good razor blade, I think it was because mine was old and I just need a new one, but Anyway, yeah, make some recommendations. I also bought a glue gun for this project and it was crappy. I bought just whatever they had from Walmart and uh, it was the worst glue gun experience ever. Don't ever buy this art skills glue gun. If you guys have a recommendation for a glue gun because I do a lot of crafts, uh, let me know. I had a good one before and I don't even know where it is right now, but um, this is outdoor quality paint. It's just the cheap bare paint um, that they have that's for outdoors. It's like a matte finish. It's kind of like what you would paint a shed with or something because these, like I said, are going to be going outside. But if you're doing these for inside, um, then you can use my one-step paint recipe, which is one part paint, one part primer, one part clear coat. Um, I'm a big fan of the HGTV Innovations line of paint right now you can honestly you can get away with that just that paint um it sticks so well you guys i'm gonna do a, a whole video on that paint that i discovered by accident in the oops section and i cannot believe all furniture finishers are not using it it's called hgtv innovations paint but anyway this color is rugged tan it's more of like a salmon pinky tan color and I've used a million different tans for making wood looks, but this is the one that's most like the Pottery Barn Sausalito finish. However, because it's an outdoor paint that I'm using as the base, it actually is like really chalky and it absorbed the paint. Uh, I mean, the, the glaze that I'm using here to make the wood look, it absorbed it a little bit more than I'm used to. So these ended up darker than my normal wood look but you can watch i have tons of videos on those wood looks as you guys know you can check out and you could apply those exact wood looks to this tree as well so these are like my go-to utensils i have this little dog brush i have my whisk broom i have a deck staining brush which i feel is absolutely necessary because the deck staining brush all you need is a big fluffy brush to smooth the gel stain or the glaze, this is a water-based glaze, out and, and just so where it's not so harsh because you want something that's kind of like this really even thin coat of glaze. And then you can go over it with your broom or your, um, actually what worked best for this because it was the outdoor paint and it was really sticking or absorbing is the dog grooming brush worked best. But I've heard people in the comments saying that they use the dollar store broom or they use some other broom and it worked great as well. That part really, you can get away with so many different utensils. So I'm just using the glaze, putting it on there with my regular paintbrush and then the deck staining brush. Those are like $10 at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're wide and you can just, you know, like, smooth the paint on I used to do it before I discovered the deck staining brush I used to do it with a paper towel that was kind of how I smoothed 
this look on but as time went on I realized that the deck staining brush was actually so much more even um, the coverage and finish that I ended up with so I'm a big fan of using it and you can wash it this is all water-based products that I'm using even though it's going outside since these are going outside I think I'm probably gonna have to like secure them with some bricks or something to make sure they don't get knocked over in the wind and blow away to my neighbor's house <laughs> Um, the edges are really bothering me with that like jagged look so again guys like make sure and comment and let me know what's a good utility razor that's nice and sharp and will like cut through these in like one swoop instead of like getting caught up on the paper so I'll, I'm also going to be sharing a clear glaze that I'm mixing with paint in the next step of these, in the final step, that is going to be pretty cool. You'll want to be sticking around for that because you'll want to see what I do. I've never shared it on this channel before. I'm going to be using it a lot more moving forward though now that I have it. And it's just this um, Valspar clear glaze. It's mixing glaze. And I think they have other brands too, but you can find this at Lowe's. Super easy very affordable. I'm mixing it with Open Canyon because I already have that color, but you could use any light tan color. And I'm doing a half and half mix. I might have done a little bit more glaze. I don't know. I wasn't really measuring. And then I'm just going to roll it on because I want something like nice and even for the coverage. And then I'm going to use a paper towel to give it the sort of rustic coastal whatever you want to call it you know look that it just looks like it's like it came from crate and barrel that's what we're going for and that's actually where i was inspired to make these from is the crate and barrel website they've got some wood little ones like this and i think they have one that's about four foot tall as well and they're so cute so yeah <laughs> that's where i was inspired um to make these is crate and barrel and um, theirs is like that whitewashed look as well and I really like that wood look it goes with so many different types of decor styles but I'm just wiping it with my paper towel these are just Costco paper towels and you're you know just kind of one end to the other is the goal one end to the other because you want it to look like pieces of wood but look at that, you got the darks, you got the lights. I think they're so cute. I think they look very much like real wood. I'm really proud of this project. I just, I think I'll be making lots and lots more. Love the foam, love the lightness and ability to just fold for storage. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to comment, let me know a nice glue gun and a nice um, utility knife so that when I make these in the future, it's easier. Bye. <laughs>